Hello! If you have clicked on this video, that means you have decided to play the trombone. And let me tell you, I think it's an awesome instrument, so congratulations! I first want to start off by giving you a few fun facts about the history of the trombone. So the trombone is derived from an instrument called the sackbut. Yes, the sackbut, which was mainly used in sacred and court music during the 1600s. And the word sack butt is Middle French words for pull and push, which is why it was given to the trombone. Overall, compared to other instruments, the trombone has changed relatively little since it was its invention. So that's pretty cool. Beethoven actually described the trombone as the voice of God. And the first documented mention of the trombone was in the year 1488 for the Duke of Burgundy's wedding. So there are some fun facts. And now we're going to talk about how to put the trombone together. Here are the three pieces of the trombone. This is the body of the trombone, this is the slide, and this is the mouthpiece. To begin putting the trombone together, you're gonna need to grab the body and the slide. So I flipped the camera around because I think it'll be a little bit easier to show you guys how to do this. See if you can follow along. So you have the body of the trombone in your left hand. And you'll notice that the slide has two different ends to it. The, the end that has this screw right here is the end you're going to attach to this one. This other end is for your mouthpiece. So if you're holding it like this, the end with the little slide right there is the end you put in here. And then once it's all the way in, you take the screw Tighten it until it feels secure. And once it's attached, then you can add your mouthpiece. When you add your mouthpiece, you add it to the other end of the slide and you twist to secure it, like so. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is hand placement. Your pointer and your thumb is what you're going to use to move your slide. It's gonna go right at the bottom. So here's your slide. You want your pointer and your thumb to be the fingers moving it like this. Okay. Your other hand, you're going to put these three fingers, your bottom three fingers, in the square. You're going to put your pointer finger on, on this bar and your thumb is going to grip it. So all together it should look like this when you're playing. It might feel a little bit uncomfortable at first, but you'll get used to it. Some points I wanted to hit on with the trombone. First off, be careful when you're playing not to pinch yourself right here because your fingers are laying right like this. And if you're not careful, you can pinch your skin and that can hurt a little bit. So just keep that in mind as you're playing. Also, when you're first starting out, your thumb and your left index finger, they might lock up a little bit. Again, it's completely normal. Your hand will get used to it after a while. And also something to keep in mind that I've noticed is that the trombone collects a lot of spit very quickly. And your spit valve, when you do need to empty it, is at the very end, like this. That's how you empty your spit. But I've noticed that it collects a lot of it. So keep that in mind too. When you start playing the trombone, I highly recommend taking off the mouthpiece and practicing your embouchure, which is just blowing into it like this. I can be good practice before you begin playing because that's exactly what you'll do when you actually blow into the instrument. Also, I would like to add that when you play your instrument, do your very best to not puff out your cheeks. Don't do that, if you can at all help it. I know it's gonna be difficult, but trust me, in the long run, It'll be so much better if you play with your cheeks tucked in, okay? No poofing. None of that. So I think we've hit our points on the trombone. Now I believe you are ready to begin practicing. Good luck.